Hey fam, if we've never had the chance to meet, my name is Bobby, and I'm just so excited that you're here celebrating Christmas at the movies with us. I don't know about you, but this is the best Christmas costume party I've ever been to. There's something about Christmas characters that just make Christmas way more fun, right? Christmas characters like Buddy the Elf, Rudolph, or even the Grinch. But when you think about the actual characters in the original Christmas story, things were a little more complicated. Think about it. The people of Israel had been waiting for hundreds of years for a Messiah to show up and save them. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was being gossiped about by everyone in town because she was pregnant, unmarried, and claimed to have been visited by an angel. Joseph was engaged to Mary and was about to leave Mary until an angel had appeared to him as well. And the famous shepherds that we see in the nativity scenes, they were considered outcasts in society at the time. And to make things even more complicated, Mary, while being pregnant, had to travel with Joseph to his hometown of Bethlehem. And when they arrived, there were no rooms, so they had to sleep in a place where animals stayed the night. And this was the very place Jesus was born. Whether you're familiar with these people and events in the Christmas story or not, my point is that the very first Christmas wasn't perfect. It was messy and complicated. The circumstances were the opposite of calm and joyful. But Jesus showed up in the middle of the mess. Check out what the angel said to the shepherds nearby. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Good news of great joy for all people. That was Jesus. God sent Jesus to earth in the middle of the mess to show us that God is with us and has so much love for us. Good news, great joy for all people even when things seem messy and not at all how we want them to be. No matter how messy or broken things feel in your life right now, Jesus wants to help. He sees you, he knows you, and he loves you, and he wants you to experience the great joy no matter what the circumstances are. Jesus shows up in the middle of the mess. It's not easy to choose joy when our circumstances are difficult. Hearing how other people still have joy because of Jesus, even when things are messy, can inspire us to choose to have joy in Jesus too. So today, we're going to hear from a few people who want to be brave in sharing a bit of their story. We'll hear how they're experiencing Jesus showing up in the middle of their challenging circumstances. Now, I know some of you have been through some messy stuff this year, but you're still experiencing joy even though things are less than ideal. And that's awesome. For others of you, you may feel like you're not doing a good job with this right now. Things are complicated and you don't feel joyful, and that's okay. Life has good and bad, and hurt is just as much a part of life as joy. It's real, and there's no reason to pretend like things are perfect. Sometimes circumstances are tough, and that can overwhelm us. Sometimes the holiday season brings out the worst instead of the best. We feel down and it's difficult for us to feel better. But Jesus shows up in the middle of the mess. Jesus wants to show up in your life because he loves you and wants to have a relationship with you. He wants great things for your life. He wants you to experience the great joy that he brings. My hope is that you'll experience that great joy not only during the Christmas season, but all year long. We'd love to see you next year and hope you'll come back to hear more about Jesus and the joy he can bring to your life. Merry Christmas.